Right, good morning, warriors of God, servant of the Lord, Derek Lynn, coming once again with Praying for America. Before we pray this morning, I am going to read a passage of scripture, and that is in 2 Chronicles chapter number 32, verse number 7. And the Bible says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria and a vast army with him. For there is a greater power with us than with him. With him is only the arm of flesh, but with us, the Lord, our God, to help us and to fight our battles. And the people gained confidence from what Hezekiah, the king of Judah, said. Let's go before the throne. Father God, in the mighty and majestic, most powerful name of Jesus Christ, the anointed one and his anointing, we come, O oh God, today lifting up the United States of America into your hands. <laughs> Father God, I thank you on today that we will be strong. We will be courageous, oh God. We will not fear because of those who are on the enemy side. We will not be afraid because of wicked kings and rulers. But God, we know that we have the majority because there are more with us than are with them. Now, Father, in Jesus' name, America needs your help desperately. <laughs> So, Father God, send, oh God, the army of heaven on today. Come and fight for America. Come and help America. Father God, send the host of heaven to help us today. I thank you for the grace to come on here every single day, praying for America. Jesus, you are the reason why I pray for this nation. Because you came, you gave your life, you died, you got up from the grave with our power and all authority. You have transferred that power and authority to me. And God, I can come boldly to the throne of grace, obtain mercy to help in time of need. Mm -hmm. Now, God, I'm asking you to send America divine help. Let heaven intervene in the situations of this country. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, I'm asking you, Father, take the White House and have your way with it, oh, God. Take the Supreme Court and have your way with it, oh, God. Take, oh, God, the Congress and the Senate and have your way with it, oh, God. Oh, God, take all of the doctors and nurses, oh, God, in the land and bless them and keep them, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, police officers, first responders, firefighters, cover them under the shadow of your wing. Father God, from coast to coast, oh God, from the east to the west, the north and the south, cover this land with your glory. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking you to come down and show yourself strong. Show yourself strong to your enemies. That your enemies, so God, will know how great you are. I thank the Father God on today that you are the reason we can pray for this nation. You are the reason we can resist the devil and he will flee. You are the reason that we can draw near to God and he will draw near to us. Jesus, you are the reason, my God, that we have this right to be called the sons of God. You are the reason that we live, oh God. You are the reason that we move, Lord Jesus. You are the reason that we exist. Without you, Father God, we are nothing. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for making a way of escape for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us direct access to the throne of the Father. Holy Spirit, blow a fresh wind on this land. And God, I'm asking you to follow. Father God, I'm asking you on today, in the mighty name of Jesus, send a storm into the enemy's camp and rip the roof off the top of the enemy's camp and cause everything that were done in secret to be exposed in the name of Jesus. Now, God, bless us as we go out. Bless us as we come in. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Cover us, oh God, under your feathers. Cover America under your feathers. Oh God, we take refuge in you. Cover us, oh God, with your feathers. For you, oh God, are our refuge, our strength, and you, Lord, are our ever-present help in the time of trouble. 
Father, America is in trouble and America needs you now. Send us help now because now faith is. In the name of God, the Father, Jesus, the Son of the living God, and the Ruach, the Ghost, the Holy Ghost, I pray today I feel the fire and the presence of Holy Spirit on this morning. Your kingdom come. Mm. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. Father God, let the vengeance that you shall repay be paid for with the highest of retribution, the highest of recompense, the highest of restitution, and the merciful God of restoration for our country. In the name of Jesus, I pray today. Amen. Warriors of God, may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Remember this. Be strong and courageous. Do not give up. We have come too far to turn back now. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and know that no devil in hell can touch you because you and I are covered under the blood of the Lamb. Until then, shalom. Bye-bye.